Hello Barney Badger Army and welcome to today's Tea and Talk. Hope you're all well guys. Yes, we've got our tea. We've got the tea. We've got the tea, I've got my Cobra Kai mug and you've got your Disney princess mug. It's not Disney princess, it's a Disney villain. Look, it's Maleficent. Maleficent? Maleficent. Spooky. Mm. Love a bit of Maleficent. Mm. Old school or Angelina Jolie? I have a spider. Oh dear. I have a spider. Spider. Old school. Old school. Which one? Which one? There you go. I like both. I like both. I think they're both yeah. different, you know. I think it's interesting to see her as a good guy and a bad guy. And that sort of anti-hero level that Angelina Jolie brings to it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Right, today we're going to talk about... Oh, we've got a lot to talk about, but actually, we've got quite a lot to talk about. Nid Nidol? Nidol. Nidol? Nidol. Favorite sweets. Nidol favourite. They are from Norway. Mm -hmm. Tooties. Yeah, because it's Norwegian. Favorita. Okay. Okay. <laughs> They're chocolates. They're chocolates. They're chocolates. From Norway. Let's throw stuff on the floor. And we've also got zombie bombs from Mr. Sims. Uh, I'm really to try not out. To them. Not sponsored, unfortunately. I wish they were. And we have. Let's have a look. We got lots of it. Yes. We got beach combing to talk about, which was mm -hmm. fun. Mm -hmm. um, the and as a section of that, we've got uh, mm -hmm. some news on the new doll film. Uh, we've got the mystery screening that we went to the other day at the light cinema. That's good. Uh, uh, we got the AI and NPC stuff. I want to talk to you guys about and. Oh. We're going to talk all about the different films, and we're going to talk about a new series that we've been watching as well, which is good fun. All right, so let's start off first on the listy poos is the chocolate. So let's do that. Yum yum. Okay, they they say what they are on the front, so you can pick one out. Let's have, a little, let's have a little. Let's have a little raspberry one, maybe. Is that a raspberry? It, it's. A bringleberry. A bringleberry. It's a bringleberry. So I make it easier for you by getting one of each out. Mmm. No, no. I'll try it in a minute. I'm getting there. Just, just, just hold up. Mmm. Easy, tiger. You can try them. I don't even want to try them. No, are we? Mm. No, I'm just, just let me find the one of each at least. Okay. Right. Yeah. Right, that's right. one of these. It's a Bringleberry. Mm. A little Bringleberry. I quite like some Bringleberries. Right. Oh, can you calm down? I haven't even had the first one. What one did you just eat that time? No, you don't know. You didn't even look. <laughs> My goodness. Mm. That was the oh. caramel. It was really nice. Oh, is that jelly? Yes. That like Turkish or not, but not. Mm. And I had the caramel one, which was really tasty. Right, I think this no. one is some sort of button. I don't know. Mel Caplet. Mel Caplet. Mel Caplet. That one. Mm. Mm. At milk chocolate. Milk chocolate. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Right. Mm? Can you leave the last two until I've caught up? So you had. So what's that called? Come on, I want to hear you say it. That is a fest caramel. Mmm. Which is kind of in between. Not squishy. Squishy. The caramel and the fudge bit's dark, sort of dark chocolate. Salty. Salty caramel. <laughs> you do know. <laughs> That salty caramel was like so 2019. <coughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I won't die. No, 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 no. Have, you, have you eaten that milk chocolate one? Yes, it was really nice actually. Very tasty. Mm. And then we have the special. The what special. Is this oh, no. I have I have just put that in my mouth. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You can do the special in a minute. It's just like it's every time you eat, you're like, oh, put this down. 
I'm just going to sit down here and you like eating all of yours. I'm like, really? <laughs> I'm a very patient eater. I don't know what you're referring to. Really? <laughs> really? Okay, we're up to the special. The special! It's special. It's praline. Mmm. Praline, praline. Mm. The only one in that packet. A booger. That's in the packet. I couldn't actually get a translation for this one. It's a troika. Triple nifetes. <laughs> yes. There's three then. There's three something in it. It's a bit like Turkish delight, no? I don't know, I've never had these before. It looks like it. And you saw a crack in the media. Oh, it? Crack one open. This way. It's a bit shy anyway. Mmm, mm, okay. Mmm, well done. It's fun. Yes, like Turkish delight, but is it that, that berry? Mm. And then is there like a bit of white chocolate or marzipan or something underneath that? Mm. I think it is marzipan. Mm. Generally, I'm not a lover of marzipan, but that... <laughs> we <eat> my hair! <laughs> but that, <laughs> I actually really like. Because it's almost like the Turkish Delight adds to the flavour. Yeah. And it's not just the marzipan icky yuckers. That yeah, I really yeah. like. Yeah, yeah. chocolate I've tried from anywhere near like the Scandinavian area. Mm. It's Milka. Milka, yeah. But Milka is anywhere in the Baltic Sea. Mm. Like Poland. Yeah. Norway, Sweden, Finland. They all are all from Norway. But that's quite a common bar of chocolate now especially in the i don't know about mm. in america or anywhere else but in the uk mm. that's quite widespread so i would say that's like a normal brand now rather than being like a luxury it's like sort of, toblerone i can't mm, even remember where that's yeah. from switzerland that's a completely different way that's it yeah and you've got the other one now haven't you that's in the pound shops the one that's like called twin peaks twin peaks yeah based on the on the program it's not it's a knockoff version of like it's a knockoff version of Toblerone. <clears throat> I do need to start watching Two in Peace again. I think we got up to like episode six and then got a bit phased out. But it is well worth Original it. or new? Original. Mm. My mum I really like it. There's a problem with a pet dog. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Two in Peace is really good. And there's some really, really good games them. based on it. Yeah. What was your favourite? I would say, unusual wise, I like the Pringle. Berry. Bringleberry. 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 Bring, Dingleberry. No. <laughs> <laughs> but I do like the special. I like one. But I do like that one as well. Basically, I like all of them. Mm. Now, I like sort of like, I really like the little dark chocolate. Yes, that was really nice. Oh. Yeah, let's have another taste of them. <laughs> yeah, I really recommend these ones. If you mm -hmm. can find these. They're very nice. They did. Mm. I think when I looked online, they did have a mm. mixtures. Mm. But, mm. Mm. but yeah, I recommend watching Twin Peaks if you've never seen it before as well. That's a good series. And there's lots of different bits and pieces you can do to watch that. And it's really good. And there's lots of games that are quite similar. Quite spooky as well. I do like it. Right now. Oh, I'm right now. These. I'm doing these because Badger Junior put one to my lips the other day before you sort of like went, no, he's got on yet. And, and I literally felt like, I don't even know. It was like, no, I don't know if I want to. I can't want to get over now. These are zombie bombs from, Hot, um, I need to say hot on back, from Mr. Sims' Ye Oldie Sweet Shop. Is it hard sweet? Crunchy. It can be. Oh my God. So this is of a chilli and sour sweet at the same time. They're yummy. Mm. 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 Mm
tea ready. Am I going to have to go and run right. off and get like yogurt and stuff? Maybe. Right, I think we should do some sort of 30 second time on the thing. So we'll wait till it gets to 10 past and we'll both pop it in together. Go. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Burning down my stomach. Did you just swallow it whole? No, yeah. Oh, you weirdo. No. I never want one of those ever again. Oh. No? It's like if it's on the outside of your lips and you go back in and it's like, oh, it started again. Oh. Fan, then. I have a chocolate. Mm. I have a chocolate. Oh, yeah. So you're not a fan of zombie bomb bum? No. I have a little bit there. See, I really like them because they do give you that weird factory reset feel. They do power you up a bit and they do wake you up and you get that chilly sensation. You get that sour sensation. And if you're a big fan of those, it's awesome. Does it taste nice? No. Not to begin with. Mmm. Mm. But they're sweet in the middle. Mm, really nice. Well, I don't care. I'm not even going to try it. Once you get past the horrible bit, they're really nice. Mmm. No. Mmm. I'd rather do one chip challenge. Mm. Oh, it's on my hand still. I thought that was a chocolate. Mm. So what would I give those out of 10? For flavour, excitement, oh. utter madness. It's all just my face and everything. What would I give them out of 10 for excitement, gimmick and fun and sourness and madness? A good solid seven and a half. What about you, Viking? Minus one million. <laughs> Not for you then? Mm -mm. Okay. Not a fan? No. Yeah. Mm. I would say if you enjoy yeah. if you enjoy sour stuff and sweet stuff and really, really fiery Ooh. stuff, all the weird things. I could see that being that, you know, like when you, you go to work and you, you've got a colleague that's maybe rubbed you up the wrong way. And you're like, would you like a sweet? <laughs> I'm just now thinking, oh, can I get some for Halloween? Yes, that would be a Halloween one. A Halloween one for like, you know, them really horrible little kids. <laughs> you know, the really horrible kids from your street. And you're like, you don't want to give them anything. You really don't. Zombie bombs. Check them out from Holland the Bat. No, they're not. They're from Mr. Sims. Mr. Where Sims in Lakeside. Holland and Barrett. I don't know. But yeah, they're from Lakeside. Mr. Sims. And tell them the, bad, the brawling badger did them on the episode and what you thought of them so yeah seven and a half for me and minus one billion from you <laughs> my tongue is still burning but it's really bizarre it's at the back of my tongue it's burning nice bizarre oh, for it's bizarre <laughs> so what <laughs> thoroughly enjoyed those here no yeah no yeah mm, yummy mm. So next we're going to talk about our adventure yesterday, where we went beach combing, which was really good fun. Yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. Went beach combing on the Minster Lees, right? Yes, mm. yes. We went to the bottom of the cliffs. So. Yeah, because obviously you get past the more, I suppose the right word would be pedestrian area, right? Yeah, the concrete area. Concrete <laughs> area. 
And then once you get past that, you're looking at like sand, mud, and you know stones, lots stones, of stone. massive trees, and lots of like up. Yeah, yeah, and sort of almost like not hiking in a way, but it's like off trail, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. yeah you're walking on a lot of stones, therefore you're like riding <coughs> about all over the place. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then obviously there's lots of different bits and pieces that have either been washed up yeah. or put there in lots of different situations. Yeah, most of it is washed up. Yeah, it's washed up. Mm. It's in cove areas and so much plastic. Mm. So much Because the beach cleaners yeah. clean all of the, the part where people are. Mm. Round by the cliffs, they don't. Because they haven't got very long before the tide starts coming in. And if the tide comes in, you kind of get stuck into like little areas. <coughs> and yeah. you can be stuck there for sort of like six hours. Yeah. So you, it's oh. not really somewhere where you would put a professional to go, really. No. And... Um, yeah, it can be quite dangerous in a way. Yeah. But I, I thought it was really exciting. And we did a three mile walk, didn't we? Yeah. And you were looking out for what were you tell everyone what you were looking out for? Well I wasn't looking out for anything to begin with. I sat on a bit of a tree, didn't I? <laughs> That's it. And I saw a tiny little bit of old circuit board mm. and it still had like all the little bits on there. That's and it. Like, that's it, and now I want all. And we found loads. Yes, we, we found did. like baker, like really old circuit board. That's it. Like possibly from a TV from like you know sort of sixties. That's it. Yeah. Because a lot of the properties that used to be on the top of the cliffs fell in to the sea. Yeah, and what so, date did that happen? What? When that happened, was it? You said it was all in the papers and everything, didn't you? No, there's there's properties have been falling in there for like from erosion mm. for decades. Mm. But the last one was probably about two years ago, and that was mm. that was on the news and everything. Mm. Yes. Yeah, that was quite sad. They unfortunately lost their little home. Mm, it was very sad. Yeah, it is. It is. Mm. So no one was hurt, so that no. was good. But even still, it was still That's scary. A, pretty scary, yeah. So yeah, so you found all these little weird little bits and pieces for that. Yeah. I walked past something that I thought was really cool, which was a doll's head on a spike. Well, you didn't do it either. And we just turned the corner and I was just like, oh, have yeah. you seen this? I was like, ooh, I like, like this. Ooh, perfect. Yes. And that will lead into talking about some other bits in a bit. But yeah, I was like, wow, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. And then I went and got a load of old sticks, you know, and some big branches. Yeah. And I planted them near it and created like a weird shrine, which I thought was cool. And I also um, found these, which is rather bizarre, which was... Uh, Old shotgun shells, which is rather cool. But so, when I was a kid, you used to get far more of them on the beach than what you mm. do now. Yeah. Which is kind of good. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah. Rather bizarre, but very cool as well. Like, I've never actually seen anything like this before until recently until then i was like i'm not wow. too sure that red one it is actually a shotgun shell it's something similar isn't it it's some sort of shell oh no it is there's two there's two yeah there's one stuck in the other one. Oh, okay someone's been faffing about with that but that's interesting yeah i thought perhaps it was a bucket hand <laughs> yeah i know yeah, what you like mean a bit yeah of plastic on a bucket hand oh, there's two in one there maybe at some point i'll try and separate those but i don't know yeah, but that's pretty cool. So that was really bizarre. Yeah. And then um, you found like your bits, didn't you, as well? Yeah. And oh, some it... rather cool bits of plastic that that's I it. picked yeah. up. So that was quite cool. Also I found some of this as well. I... I've found these, which uh, is rather bizarre, but we, I'm going to make some like um, ice cream sort of uh, bits and pieces with that, which is really cool. Seems yeah. weird, but I mean, that's going to be but cool. If you turn them over, they were tiles at one that's point. It, that's it, yeah. That's the back of a tile, which is what... Mm. Yeah, you know, so yeah, on. very good little pieces of art to be made there, and maybe yeah, because I've got some ceramic that was like parts of old plates and things yeah. that you find along there. And this was bizarre as well because you said that was tarmac, yeah, but it's been squished together with old bits of stone as well, and which, eroded, yeah, and, and like, eroded, turned so. into an old pebble. So that's quite cool. Disco pebble. <laughs> Disco pebble. <laughs> Disco pebble. Didn't really see anything like that. Oh, that's pretty cool. Nice. So lots of weird little fun little finds on the beach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it was really good. And it was a nice time, wasn't it? We were there for about oh, four hours. Yeah, and, and on, the, on the way back, it was uh, right down the dead end part. But there it. was nothing. There was a, a little guy on his own with his ice cream 
trolley that ice That's cream it. car. Yeah. I, I, I want to say it was that Jolly's ice cream, but I can't. Rem I really can't remember what yeah, it was Yeah, it's called. the Jolly ice cream car or something like that. Yeah. So and if you're watching really this, sweet. yeah, it was really nice, and um, you know, it was nice. It wasn't. It's he... very limited. It was like four flavors, but you could either have them in a tub or a cone, and then he had all the little stands with all these sauces and things. That's it. Yeah. And it gave you ice cream. It helped yourself. And I was like, That's it. Yourself to sauce. Ooh. Mm. What did you do when you helped yourself to sauce? I ate way too much sauce, had a sugar rush, and put it all in my bed. <laughs> Pretty much. I ate yeah. the ice cream and made a well, and you just filled your cone up with sauce, <laughs> and you ate a strawberry sauce one side, <laughs> salty caramel the other side. <laughs> Oh dear. So yeah. yes, that was good fun. And of course, other places are available for ice cream down that strip. You've got the Sweet Hut. Yeah, the Sweet Hut along Mince and mm -hmm. the Little Oysters Cafe. And then there's the Beach Hotel, which is behind the Little Oyster. Mm. So pretty good. Yeah. That's yeah. nice. It was nice. nice. It was nice. It was nice. It People was nice. walking the dog. Mm. That's it, yes. The, the nice man went, oh yeah, you're our, my last customer. But then proceeded to talk for nearly 30 minutes to the old man with the dog. Mm. Bless him. I just wanted to go home. <laughs> <I> <laughs> he just wanted to go home, but this bloke was like, I haven't seen you for a while. Buy a bloody ice cream. <laughs> and he took card as well. Which was very, yeah, very good. Mm -hmm. I did say to him that he needs to start advertising that because people are going to walk past him thinking that he it's can only good. do change. Yeah. Mm. So that's another yeah. thing. But yeah, so linking in <clears throat> to obviously the beach coming adventure that we did, I then decided to film at least three scenes uh, using the weird Dolna spike, the weird sort of environment that I created around it. Mm -hmm. We found because you happen to be already doing a film about spooky dolls. Yes. And then seeing that, I was like, you need to film it. Yeah, because that would definitely add to the storyline. Mm -hmm. uh, we found a very very dead. Stingray, so then we put that in there. Yeah, that was pretty gross, but no, yeah, that's part of it. it. Unfortunately, it was already gone. Yes, it was already gone, but yes, we've popped that in there now, mm -hmm. so that's gonna be part of it. Uh, we found some old doll stuff on a separate note. We found some old doll stuff today, didn't we? While we were sorting out some yeah. stuff, yeah, so that's gonna be part of it as well. Gonna do that, which is very good. So, yeah, lots of stuff, and it's quite interesting that these different situations can then add to different films and stuff because I've already started filming some bits with Nick mm -hmm. we've got to film some other bits and then we're going to have the big final showdown of Essex FBI versus the spooky doll yeah. but that won't come for a little bit because I want to build up to that so I'm filming it in weird orders so uh, watch out it's going to be more doll stuff coming soon and if you didn't see the art of paranormal that does connect in with the doll stuff as well yes it does along with the forest of ash yes forest of ash if you haven't seen that yet please do watch that is the first part really yes that is the first part really that but the there may be part. something even before that chemically yeah. if i can figure it out but yeah so we'll see how we go but yeah, please do watch Forest and of Ash. And some other things do tie into this as well. Yes. So fringe dating's going to tie into it. Fringe dating's going to tie into it as well. Mm -hmm. There's Mystic Marks. Um, <laughs> yes, no Emporium. But that might be tied into cringe dating. Yeah, we're not too sure. And there's lots of other bits. <coughs> so please do check those out. And then we went to, uh, on another thing to chat about, we went to the mystery stream screening at the light. Didn't yes. we? So tell All everyone about said, that. All I said is it's a mystery it's a horror film mm. and it is an early release so yes we went to watch that kind of guessed what the horror film was going to be got that mm. right um yeah. can't mention it just yet until it's actually been released no yeah so, so but it what i will good. say it was very good and we'll be doing a review of that very soon, once we're allowed to, basically, yeah. Well, yeah, on the next TN Talk, we can talk about Yeah, on the film. next TN Talk, once the film's officially out, we was, can talk about it. It was really good. Mm. I enjoyed it. Did yeah. Enjoy it? Oh, definitely, yeah. I thought it was really good fun. Kraken Media enjoyed it as well. So, it was a really good uh, night out. So, yeah, it's something for us to definitely look forward to talking about very soon. Yes. Yeah. So, what have you been doing with your channel? <laughs> well, we have been absolutely going beast mode on yes. AI transformations and NPC. We? We've been helping. 
Have you tried this other trend? The NBC one. Yeah, so what we need to do is we need to explain about AI first. So AI mm-hmm. is taking a photo and then it transforms into whatever you want it to be. It's really cool. I really love that. Yeah, but see, the trouble is, is because you write, you go and find the, someone that uses an AI and then you, because you can type it in on yours. I can't on mine. Yeah. So every time it comes up and people look at yours, it just says AI Peaky Blinders. Oh no, I've changed that not, now though, haven't I? It's is it? AI Essex FBI. Yes, we've got an Essex FBI now, now. I've made sure of it. That, that's over on TikTok. Yes, that's over on TikTok and now put them on here, which is really cool. Yes, they are really cool. Mm. You, are, you have been really enjoying that. I have been really enjoying You've it. You've been enjoying the Daily Dad jokes. Yes, Daily Dad jokes. Please do check those out if you've yeah. never seen those. And I really enjoy the fact that I can edit and change the different things on these um, images. Because yes. uh, my favourite one so far is Spider-Man Squishmallow Knight. Yes. So, like, the world's your oyster in a way, because you can come up with as many things. We could have Jack Skellington as a space marine. You know, yeah, you could literally, you know, yeah. figure out as much yeah. weird and wonderful stuff as you want. So the world you're interested with this. So please put some comments in the uh, dis- the thing below and tell us some of the ones that you want to see because I'll try and do some AI stuff and that. But yeah, and we've also been dabbling. Well, I've been dabbling with NPC stuff. It's, um, it it came about last year, mm. and this year it's come back because. All of a sudden, there are reports of people making up to about seven thousand pounds a week. Yeah. By pretending that they are an a, a, a an NPC. Non-playable character. Yeah. For the um, kids at home. And it's quite funny because you get most of them. They're just start doing the same repetitive motions, and that they say the same. Yeah, they say the same things, which is if you are familiar with TikTok. People send roses, they go, hmm, rose, hmm, rose, smell lovely, whatever. Lovely, and rose, lovely, rose, that. lovely, rose, lovely, rose, beards. That's your one, that's mm. your one. Yeah, because I'm doing more of a parody, aren't I? I'm not one. Yeah. <laughs> I would say, right, and guys, donate if you want me to do a whole half an hour's worth of live NPC. I would love to see you try to do that. Honestly, guys, donate if you want to see me do half an hour's worth of NPC live. I'll do it. If we can get even the teeniest whistle of donation for today's one, I will do a NPC live for half an hour. Sad badger. Sad badger. That's what I'll be saying. No, donate. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, it's been hilarious because it's just random people go, Oh, happy badger. Happy and badger. Like, oh. Mm. Oh. Mm, sad badger. Beards. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I quite like those. It's, you know, it's the parody aspect for me is quite fun. But if you want a serious one, if you yeah. want me to actually do it, honestly, I'll donate and I'll do it. I, I promise. Cross my fart. Oh, good luck. <laughs> But yeah, so. That's a good one for your AI. What's that? Farting badger. Farting badgers. Oh dear. Yes. Comment if you would like to see a badger farting. Fart, badger drinking a farting, Yorkshire tea. A farting badger <laughs> drinking tea. Yorkshire tea. Your, it has to be Yorkshire tea, none of this twinings gumph. Well, you're not complaining about my twinings tea? Needs must as the devil drives. Twinings is awesome. It's twinings extra strong. It's lovely. It's made in the same area as Yorkshire tea. Doesn't mean it's nice though, does it? It's yeah. lovely. It's wonderful. Oh. Uncultured swine. Uncultured swine? Mm-hmm. At least I have taste buds. Are you sure? Yeah. You thought the zombie bomb was lovely. Yeah, but it's not lovely. Is it? It's nice after a while. Ugh. I'm no. sure my acid reflux will go through the mint, like the, the ringer tomorrow morning. Oh dear, you'll be in trouble tomorrow. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, so please let us know if you'd like to see an NPC live. Donate for that. There's no way in hell am I going to do it without a donation. So they go, please do it, rubbish. 
if you want to see it, donate, because there's no way I'm going to publicly shame myself without good reason, believe it or not. That could be funny, because you could react to every single emoji yeah. that someone sends you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, please, someone donate. <laughs> please, someone donate. Even a packet of Jaffa Cakes. Even a packet of Jaffa Cakes, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you do realise that, you know, Cracker Media is going to catch wind of this and donate, don't you? We'll see. We'll see. Mm -hmm. It's the whole bait and switch thing. We'll see what happens. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> So what program have you been watching? It's well, not a new program. We've been watching. We've been watching because been watching. it's one of my favourite series. Yes. And when I was talking about it, you looked at me blank and I was like, have you not seen it? And you was like, no. Sort of. I watched like half an episode before. You watched half of the first episode. There was like six series. Yes. <sighs> oh dear. Yes, Vikings is oh, now one of my top series to watch, and I do recommend it. Actually, it's really good. You have actually been quite enjoying it. Only, I have really been, been enjoying it. Yeah. Times where I've called you like napping. napping. Yeah, um, but yeah, no. Is it was pretty late at night. It was pretty late at night. What's the nice gentleman's name? He's Ragnar. very good. Huh? Ragnar. Ragnar. Ragnar's very good. But who, what's the actual actor? Travis Fennell. Travis Fennell. For men, the new fragrance. Sounds familiar from, I think, originally Australia. Mm. It's Australia. There's a model, male model in the States, like things like Levi's, CK1, and stuff. But he's a very good actor, right? He's a very, very good, good actor. Yeah. Mm. He's a very good actor. I thought he was really good. And, um, yes, I'm enjoying that. Gabriel Byrne is brilliant in it as well. Mm -hmm. No spoilers of any kind. But, yeah, he's really good no in it. No spoilers, it's been and gone. Most of the people watching this be going, are you mad? Have you not seen it? Yeah, but you can't say that everyone says that. I've got people on Facebook. You mention something that's six year old, six years old, and they go, "No spoilers." You think it's only been out six years? So yeah. It's Vikings. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but yeah, Vikings is really good. <laughs> Thoroughly enjoying it so far. Uh, watching a couple of episodes per night. Also ish, been ish. Not every night. Not every night. Um, what did we watch last night? The Oh yes, we watched the Visionaries, Night of the Magical Night. And then, what did we watch after? Gem and the, the Holograms. <laughs> so it's like, you get to have one episode, I get to have an episode. Yes. The Viking wants to watch Gem. Yeah, Gem's alright. I think yeah, it's yeah. going to be a grower on me. Visionaries is like, yes, we're all powerful knights of the round table and we've oh, got magical powers and grr. I don't honestly don't remember I don't remember the theme I don't remember the cartoon however yeah. I remember a figure a toy then he had the a toys. hologram on his yeah. chest mm. so I remember that, but I don't know if it was mine or if it was a friend's so. yeah and they also did <coughs> another series of that which wasn't in connection with visionaries but there was these little toys that had little holograms on them as well. Yeah, that could have been those. I don't know. Yeah, they, they were, were about that big and they were different. They were like little battling wrestler things. I think it was like an offshoot of Visionaries. I do need to pick those up. And of course, the original Transformers. I don't know about now, but, you know, during the war in the <laughs> 80s, just... you know, that was the whole thing of like you could sometimes, although so it did... a war. yeah. It did say it on the front, obviously, if they were Decepticon or Autobot, but there was a hologram on them, and you would press, wouldn't you, and it would reveal the Autobot logo, right? My my toys in the eighties consisted of if I was I had I did have a gem bubble yeah with the little earring mm. it was He Man He Man yeah He Man I had He Man Battle Cat and I had Thundercats yeah Thundercats Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, that was I've, later on. That yeah. Was like, yeah. I've just had a weird memory later. of when, because Thundercats, right, you used to get the, some of the Thundercats, like the early ones, used to have like a metal circle at the back and you had this little thing and you could press it and then something would happen to the figure, like the eyes would light yeah. up and, and stuff. And then my, my got a snarf over there on the windsill. Yes, very good. Snarf. Snarf. Right, okay. Old school snarf that couldn't talk versus modernish snarf that could talk. Who do you think? What modern is, as in the more recent? Thing. Yeah, the anime one, the, not the no. piss takey one, no, not, not the that. not the stupid Thundercats, Teen Titans Go crossover weirdness. Oh. That was horrible. No, we don't talk about uh, that. No, I'm talking about the anime reboot that they did early two mm. thousands. No, 
No, you didn't like that either. You just like the pure old school. I'm See, purest in maths. Purest in maths. I obviously hated the weird... I like Teen Titans Go, but I didn't like the Thundercats version of it. It was horrible. And what makes me laugh is that that original, uh, the guy that created that went, I'm a big Thundercats fan. No, you're not, because you just cacked on the the creation. You made it horrible, and I was glad when that horrible series got cancelled. Mm -hmm. And if it's not cancelled, it needs to be. Because they need to bring Thundercats back to a serious base level. You need an overarching storyline, and you need something really gritty, but with an element of fun, not too much. Mm. But yeah, indeed. And I've also been watching Secret Invasion, and it's a lot better than what people say. I don't care. I haven't seen it yet. I know you haven't seen it, but it's, you know, people are saying, oh, it's the lowest rated Marvel series from Rotten Tomatoes, blah, blah, blah. I haven't seen Moon Knight either. What? Or Vision, what's that one called? WandaVision. WandaVision. Yes. Well, I do recommend those. Right, I think it's time for us to go now. Mm-hmm. Mm. So yeah. thank you very much for watching, everyone. And we'll see you next time. Bye. 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 Thanks for watching. Have a great one. And don't forget, if you want to see half an hour's worth of NPC Live, you Donate. know what to do. Donate. 50p. 75p. <laughs> or you can join a Badger Army. Yes, you can. From 2 99 Oh, dear. Mm -hmm. Oh dear. And don't forget. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. <laughs> and don't forget we'll be talking more about the mystery screening soon. Ooh. Look after yourselves. Keep safe. Keep well. Much love, everyone. I'll see you in the next vlog, video, stream, short, or movie. Isn't that right? Yeah. Bye. Bye.